That reminds me, everyone. Welcome back! What does that even mean? I don't know. Don't ask me, everyone. Uh, regardless, so what was I doing, you might be wondering? I was presenting some evidence off screen. Because I wanted to see if she would say anything over things. And that way I could save some time if she said nothing. Because sometimes it happens, you know. And she would say something. You want to know what she said something about? She said something about the brooch. So that's what we're talking about right now. Oh my gosh. Does this brooch look familiar to you? Yes, it looks very familiar to me. My brooch? Yes? Well, it may be mine. Yours, Lamoror? I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, well that explains the brooch we found. It was Lamoror's. Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. So this brooch belongs to her. That begs the question. Is, is something wrong, Apollo? What was the brooch doing at the crime scene? Because it was her dressing room? Did you ever think about it? Not to mention, she's the witness, so... Duh, come on now, give me a break. Revolver. No, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. I'm guessing she probably won't have anything to say about the rest of the stuff. Yep, I knew it. So anyway, though. Now it's time we have a conversation. About yourself, please. The Republic of Borginia. That's in Northern Europe, right? <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> I've never even heard of it! I started out singing in a restaurant! Then a producer called me before I knew it! Here I am! You don't say! You know, my daddy plays piano in a restaurant! Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. Lamoroar, you're not from Borginia originally? Were you born here? Well... Oh, is that supposed to be a secret? Imagine is. Image is everything when you're a star. I know a bit about that, of course. Ah, oh, yes, it is something like that. A contract, you might say. I'm also not to speak anything but Borganese in public. Image is important, I guess. She's not all Image, though. Her songs are lovely. A real landscape painter and sound. A painter and what? She travels the world turning the sights... She sees in the music. That's the secret to your, your music beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh, I use your songs all the time in my uh, stage act. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Stop while you're ahead, Juicy. This landscape painter in sound too is an image. Yet without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the Siren of the Ballad, right? Yes, in Borganese, Lamoror means the Siren. I fear that perhaps I already I am not the Siren I once was. That's rather unfortunate now. Maki! Your pianist Maki, was it? He's cute, like a porcelain doll. He's very European. I met him while singing in restaurants in Borginia. He is an orphan, yet his playing is exquisite. Soon he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale almost. I notice he hardly leaves your side. Yes, well, he is blind. At first I hesitated at dragging him across the world. He doesn't speak English either, does he? He had never left Borginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Maki and I together are Lamoror or Lamoror, together always. Ah, oh, I see. Interesting. Mr. Latouse. Mr. Latouse was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. Around when I received Mr. Gavin's invitation to come, I met Mr. Latouse at my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. And as it turned out, my interpreter. Interpreter, even though you speak English. Yes, but we were to visit more places than just here. We had a concert in Japan scheduled after this one. Though I fear that may have to be cancelled now. Was Mr. Latus from the Republic of Borginia too? Well, he was only with me for three months. I'm afraid there is much I do not know about him. And now I shall never know. No one will even tell me why he has died. I I'm sorry. 
Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Latouse was a talented man! The sire of the ballad! That phrase was his idea, you know! I am happy for him that it has become so well known! The siren? That's what he meant? Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lamoror? That is the meaning of my name in Borganese, yes! It was the name of my producer gave me, but why do you ask? It's very important. I didn't know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. Oh well, yeah, it's about time you figured it out, Apollo. My goodness, jeez. The siren! Siren. It turns out that's a very important word in this case. How? When we found Mr. Latouse, he was still alive. What? I heard him say something. His last words. Mr. Latouse, can you hear me? Ask witness. Hang in there, Mr. Latouse. Tell me, who was the witness? The witness is Psy Siren. He said Siren? Really? I was the only one there to hear it. But I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latou said that? Ask the witness. And you're the siren, Lamoror. Dot 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 dot. Did you see what happened? Dot 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 dot. Lamoror? Might I ask, are you with the police? Uh, uh, well, no, I'm a defense attorney. An attorney? Yet there have been no arrests, yes? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no client, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. But Lame Aurora, we... I am sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you lack the authority to ask them. Ack, why? Suspicious. If you witness the crime, why won't you tell us? I believe we are through here. I believe so. Well, that's rather unfortunate then. I guess she just doesn't want to talk. Well, in that case, back to the hallway. Where we're not going to find any answers. It's past midnight, July 8th, 12.22 a.m. backstage hallway. Whoa, who's there now? Huh, it's you. Where were you? Ack, Emma. Is something wrong? She looks grumpier than usual. You bet something's wrong. The impossible's happened. Uh, wait. Ah, it's all your fault, you know. Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. What do you mean by impossible? Well, it's gone. Utterly gone. What's gone? The body's stupid. What else? Hey? Mr. Latouse's body has disappeared. What? Oh no, a plot twist! July 8th, Lamoroy's dressing room. Ah, Prosecutor Gavin. From your vacant stare, I gather you've heard the news. I heard Mr. Latouse's body has gone missing. Look for yourself. Was he faking his own death? Quite the pickle, quite the pickle. How can you just stand there? We have to start the investi- There's no need for alarm, Fraulein Detective. Dot dot dot! All entrances and exits have been sealed. The body will not leave the building. So I suggest we go find ourselves a carnivore. There were to be pl there will be plenty of time to ponder the wise later. Well, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Mr. Gavin! Oh, we'll find him. I'm rather enjoying this. How can Mr. Latouse's body just disappear? Well, you heard the man! Let's get searching! Hey, I don't know if this is exactly the right time, but... Yes, Darian. See, the gator has gone missing. It was in the dressing room. Gator? Who's Gator? That's what I call my guitar, you like, man? Your guitar was stolen. This hasn't been a good day for guitars or geeters. 
Okay, body first, then guitar. And if someone finds that guitar, please bring it to our dressing room. Peter's like a missing person, not lost and found, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe you should be more careful with your guitar next time. Mm -hmm -hmm. I would think that makes sense anyway. There should be a body here, but there's not. How could this have happened and why? That is a good question indeed. What about this? No, okay. I thought maybe that'd be a little bit suspicious. What about these two things? Nope, still a body. So I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything new in. Is this, was this knocked over before? I guess it probably was. Oh well. So then, I don't know if there's anything new. So I'm going to assume there's not, and I'm going to present some new evidence. Alright, Emma, what's up? How you doing? So I have something, nothing to say about this? Emma, can you take a look at this? Just hold it right there. This is no time to be waving a bag of snack. Is, what? This is no time to be waving a bag of snack ooze in my face. Um, it's not a bag of snack ooze. Look, what's important is that Mr. Latrice's body is missing. We've got to find it. She would be more convincing if she wasn't standing around eating her precious snack ooze. Aw oh, man, those snack ooze though. They're so good. I mean, for Pete's sake, have you, have you even tried a snack ooze before, everyone? I bet they're the most delicious thing in the world. I mean, why else would she keep eating them? Obviously, there has to be a good reason for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna present the new stuff, like this thing right here. And we can take a look at this. No, okay, fine, fine. I, I see. I see how it is. Let's talk then about a disappearing act. Well, this sure is a. What did you call it? A sausage? No, wait, it was a pickle. And it's your pickle. I, I told you to stay in the room. Sorry. Not much else I can say. It's alright. Top priority right now is finding that body. You can make it up to me later. Ten bags or so of chocolate snack ooze should do the trick nicely. You should watch your sugar intake, Emma. Uh, is that it? Is that literally just it? Well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and move then. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Alright, no. Actually, wait. I want to see the headset first again. Can I actually pick that up finally? You gotta figure one of these days I'm gonna actually pick up the dang thing. Okay, what is that? It's a headset. No, it's nothing you can pick up though. Because you're terrible, Apollo. You're not allowed to do that. Back in here? Nope. I'm just because the music is not changing at all. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. How about the stage? Maybe. Ooh. July 8th, 12.57 a.m. in the wings. Well, the fact that they have a time there usually means that we're supposed to be here, right? Hmm, does something seem different to you, Apollo? Something is definitely different here. Let's check it out! What is different here, though? As uh, was... is this thing here? This thing wasn't here before, right? That stage here must have been lowered before! That's a tower that Lemur War and Prosecutor Gavin were singing on. Someone must have raised it! Hmm, I don't see a way to control from here! Apollo, what about that ladder there against the wall? We can use it to take a look up top! Maybe we should get Emma. What are you talking about? We have to see this sort of thing for ourselves. I'm not so good with heights. Stop whining and start climbing. Alright, from the top of the stage we go. It didn't look that high from below, really. When we got to the top, I felt... Oh, excuse me. I felt every one of those 20 feet down. Of course, I wasn't thinking about the height anymore. Not what we found up there. Eek! We found two things that we were looking for, and one thing we never expected to find. Uh, let me guess, a guitar and a body? Oh! oh. The body, guitar in hand, and the pianist Maki Tobai. Huh. I do wonder about that. July 8th, 10.09 AM, Write Anything Agency. Well... Was Maki dead, or was he just passed out for no reason? I do wonder about that, actually. Wow, that concert last night sure went south in a hurry. No kidding! Why did they arrest Maki? Why? Okay, now I get it. So, he was still alive. So, yep, he's still my prime suspect, then, in that case. But why would he pass out? That's what I want to know. Did he do that on purpose? Don't look at me like it's my fault. Maki Tobai, the blind pianist. Arrested on suspicion of murdering Ro Romine Latus. I can't believe such a cute little boy could do something so horrible! I guess they had proof of some kind. 
What proof could they possibly have? Morning. Prosecutor Gavin! What a night, eh? I apologize for being so upset. Mr. Gavin, do you know what's going on? Why did they arrest Maki? Why? Don't look at him like it's his fault either. It was tough for me too. We performed together that night after all, yet. Yet? The powers that be say that given the circumstances, it could have only been him. What do you mean by the circumstances? Lamoror was invited from Morginia as an ambassador of goodwill. It is vital that this case be wrapped up swiftly. That's all the powers that be want, really. Well, those, cir those are circumstances, all right. But what makes Maki the only possible suspect? Hair forehead. You seem to have forgotten that you're t talking to the prosecution, the enemy. Ah, right. I think I like this side of Prosecutor Gavin better, actually. I'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of this case. Especially not to the defense attorney. What? Did you just say? Me? The defense attorney? That's what I came to tell you. He's down at the detention center. He wants to request your services. He... you mean Maki? Maki wants me? This is what we've been waiting for, Apollo! Let's get going! Uh, right. Good luck. I'm off to question Lamoror. Right. Later. I hope I'm up to this. Especially if he doesn't speak English. July 8th, detention center. Visitor's room. Uh, we better have a translator here, or we better speak English. Well, I just don't get it. I refuse to believe a cute little kid like that can do something so terrible. You said that already. Dot, 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 Maki, everything's going to be okay. We're here for you. Um, hi. Maybe you can tell me about last night? Huh? <laughs> that was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this. In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Huh, maybe Lamar Roar can help! But didn't Prosecutor Gavin say she was with him? Good luck. I'm off to question Lamar Roar. Well, what are we going to do? That's, um, a good question. I can't think of anything we can do but go with this. And hope for the best at the trial tomorrow. <laughs> what? Are we just going straight to the court case? <laughs> no, no, come on. There's gotta be a little, a li at least a little bit more investigating we can do right now. Come on. Alright. July 9th, 10 a.m. District Court courtroom number three. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Court is now in session for... How do I say that? Maki to buy, your honor, the pixie of the... Our, our pe Peggio. Right, his trial. Court is now in session. The fence is ready, your honor. The prosecution is A-OK, -okay, Herr Judge. Hmm, very well. Prosecutor Gavin. Ah, my opening statement, yeah. No, no. Actually, there was something else I wanted to ask you about. Yes. Say, you're going to visit someone in the hospital with an incurable disease. What do you say to them? Eh? I mean, you wouldn't say get well soon, right? You'd only be kicking them when they're down. Um, what are you talking about? Ah Ahem. Actually, I'm going to visit someone who is terminally ill. Right after this trial. The Chief Justice's son. The Chief Justice? His son is afflicted with a most terrible disease. He doesn't have long, it seems. Ah. So I thought I'd go pay him a visit. I thought saying something moving might be the order of the day. Why don't grown-ups ever just say what's on their mind instead of pretending? She's looking at me with something like disgust. Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? In any case, 
I'm a bit busy today, so let's wrap this up quickly. Prosecutor Gavin, your opening statement, briefly. You're in luck, Herr Judge. I believe you'll be going on your hospital visit sooner than you think. Dot dot dot. First, to review the victim in this case. Romine Latus, age 35. The global manager for Diva Songstress, uh, Lamoroi. The cause of death is blood loss due to being shot by a large caliber revolver. This report has all the details. The court accepts this in the evidence. Latus's autopsy report added to the court record. 45 caliber. That's quite large, isn't it? A direct hit from that could knock a man off his feet. And kill him, apparently. However, the bullet struck him in the shoulder. The damage to the body was slight. Death was not immediate. Sadly, his blood loss was such that he could not be saved. Hmm. I suppose the victim's condition could have been much worse, considering... Crime photo added to the court record. Two shots were fired. One shot missed. The other penetrated the pa and passed through the victim's shoulder. Both bullets were found in the wall at the scene of the observe the diagram. This is where the bullets hit. I see. The court accepts this evidence. Diagram added to the court record. If we're talking about a 45 caliber revolver, and I'm pretty sure we are, what about this evidence, though? Death due to loss of blood from a gunshot wound. Estimated time of death, 9, 9.30 p.m. Alright. Romine Latou, stage 35, male. July 7th between 9 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Blood loss due to 45 caliber bullet wound. Time of last between shooting and death. Currently under review. Currently under review? Come on now, you can't do that. Well, that doesn't make sense. Time of last between shooting and death. Okay, I see. So then... So how about this then? Victim shot... Okay, that's not gonna be anything. Victim shot in shoulder in Lamoroi's room. Touch the check button for details. No, I don't want to. Crime scene was Lamoroi's dressing room. Touch the check button for details. Alrighty then. So that looks like about what I remember it looking like anyway. So I see no contradictions in that picture. Alrighty then. We must assume that the killer was adept at the weapon's use. Really? Yeah, apparently. Weapons that size have a powerful kickback. I think the judge tried to fire one and break every bone in his body. The defense will take more care in choosing examples. As I was saying, the victim was shot backstage in a dressing room. This dressing room has only one entrance, this door. That does seem to be the case, yes. How, however, there were witnesses who heard the gunshots. He's talking about you and Emma, huh? Yet when the witness entered the room, it was empty save for the victim's body, of course. But that's... that's impossible. Oh, new case. Same wall beating. Oh, whatever. Okay. Exactly, this murder was impossible. For all but one person. One person? That is, of course. The defendant, Maki Tobai. Only the defendant could have committed the crime. But how? It's quite simple. The circumstances of the crime scene make it clear. Very well. I assume you have testimony to back up this claim. Let the witness please take the stand. Oh, I see. It's Emma, huh? Your name and profession, please. Emma Sky. I'm a detective for the police department. I was on security detail at the concert forum that night. Emma seems tired somehow. Hmm. Security at the concert, you say? Some security I was. I couldn't even stop a murder. Dot, 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 dot. Now don't blame yourself. Things like this happen. I've made even bigger mistakes in my career, you know? I'm sure that makes her feel much better. I want to hear about these bigger mistakes! In any case, because you want security detail, the crime was quickly discovered. 
and we were able to identify the killer. Dot, 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 dot. You may give the court your testimony. You may give the court your testimony if you would. Describe the circumstances of that day and your discovery of the crime, please. All right. All right. Yeah, please, Emma, give give that testimony. Murderous circumstances. The night of the murder, I was on security backstage at the prosecutor Gavin's request. Only people involved with the concert in some way were allowed backstage. At the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. I went into the room, put up blaring rock music, and found the body. I examined the scene and determined that only the defendant could have done it. Hmm. It was lucky that a detective was the first on the scene. But that door was the only way out of the room, right? Yeah, pretty much. Then I don't get it! How can they say that Maki did it? Looks like we need a bit more information. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Murderous circumstances cross-examination! What do you think the answer to this question is, everyone? The night of the murder, I was on the security backstage at the Prosecutor Gavin's request. Are you sure about that, Emma? I don't really know about that. But regardless, though, it is time that we break you apart and we figure out the true meaning behind these lies that you don't really know. The night, the night of the murder, I was on the security back of the... Okay, the prosecutor gave his request. Okay, press! The night of the murder was the night of the concert, yes? That's right. That was a detective doing... Doing on security detail what I might... Wait, what was a detective doing on security detail, might I ask? There you go, everyone. That's how you really say it. If I was... If... if <laughs> Oh, jeez. If it was only a concert. My thoughts exactly. But orders are orders, even when they come from rock gods. Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, allow me to explain. I smelled something that day, you might say. The stench of conspiracy. That day at the concert hall. Conspiracy? Well, as it is obvious, my keys that whole morning, no, the whole day was ruined. And it's all because someone stole my keys. I couldn't ride my hog to the show. I couldn't open my guitar case. There he goes again! Isn't it possible he simply misplaced them? Misplaced them? Misplaced items don't just wander into a murder victim's hand on their own. What's this? Prosecutor Gavin, if your keys were the, in the victim's hand, that makes you a prime suspect. Love, slow acting and new, our Troquin is waiting for you. He's singing something! I did not know that, actually. Does everything with this guy have to be so over the top? Yes. That's what makes him so cool, man. The, the, the killing happened in the middle of the co concert. I was at court. I was, I was like a sailor adrift on the sea of sound. Anyway, I didn't want anything else stolen, so I put the detective with the most time on the hands on the task. I see. I can accept that. Well, I can't. What are you- Please. The testimony. But I want to see what he was going to say for that. So I'm going to press it again and actually read it. Okay, I'll even read it fast here, because why the heck not. Prosecutor Gavin, please let me explain. You're prime suspect. Oh no, he, I beat up the wall again. Why the heck not? All right, all right, do it. Beat up, beat up the wall. There we go. There we go. I was waiting for that. All right, so this is. I mean, I'm gonna read this really fast here, just because I don't want to miss it again. He's singing something. This is everything. Javier. Okay, I was like sailor anyway. I don't want to do anything, so I put. Uh, I see. Well, I can. What do you mean time on their hands? Okay, that's what she said. I just wanted to get the whole suspect here. You know, the whole. Yeah, the whole suspect, that's what I want to say. Only people involved with the concert in some way were allowed backstage. I want to get the whole story right there. Even if it didn't mean anything. We were let in, though. I didn't know about that. I certainly didn't invite you. I gave the Fraulein special permission to be there. I wanted to see her again. Oh boy, did you hear that? We're officially involved now! Gee, great. Some other hangers on, on trying to get backstage, but I drew them off. No other outsiders were there then. And then... At the, at the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. Oh, did you now? 
I believe we were having a chat when we heard the shots. You were the one chatting. I was eating snack ooze. Ah, hey, no snacking in court. And you're sure the shots came from Lamarore's room? Yes, absolutely. Hey, I'm the one being cross-examined here. Here, this will keep you quiet. Kadonk! Ah, thanks. So, how about it, Emma? We were right. There had to be... There... They're hard to be mistaken about that. Please either talk or eat. Not both at the same time. Go! Right, so after that, me and Mr. Lawyer here opened the dressing room door. I went into the room filled with blaring rock music and found the body. Rock? Blaring, yes. When you say rock, are you referring, perhaps, to this rock and roll music that's so popular these days? That's right, when we went in the dressing room... Music was blaring over the speaker on the wall. They pipe sound from the stage into the backstage through the speakers. That way, people in the back can hear when they're, when they're supposed to be on stage. Did it have to be so loud? You don't listen to the Gavineers with your ears. You feel it with your entire body and soul. I always have the backstage monitors at full volume. Wasn't that loud? What are you talking about? When we walked into the room, the band was playing Guilty Love, I believe, making it easy to determine the time of the crime. Hmm. If you could hear that music playing, then everyone on stage for that song has an alibi, including myself. Anyway, I closed off the scene and started my investigation. I examined the scene and determined that the only, only the defendant could have done it. How could you know something like that? As I said, it was clear from the circumstances. Listen, we know there was only one exit from that room, that door. The small window only opened a tiny crack, and I was standing in front of that door. So how could the killer have fled the scene? There's only one possibility, the air vent. Ah. But that air vent was too small. Who could possibly... Exactly. Dot, dot, dot. There's certainly no way you could get through, nor me. The only one who could fit through was a child. Child. Remember, access to those rooms was limited. Only those involved with the concert were allowed. And of all the people involved with the concert... Only one is small enough to be considered a child. The... The defendant? The pixie of the uh, arpeggio. Flitted... Flitted? Flitted? Okay. Up towards the sky. And disappeared from the scene of the crime. But that's just conjecture. Oh. There was no other way out of the room. You were there. You should know, Hair Forehead. Dot dot dot. And there is another vital piece of evidence. Evidence? What? Marks were found on the air vent grill. Traces that it had recently been opened. Wait, what? And something else we found, quite clearly. The defendant, Maki Dubai's fingerprints. What? What? Order! 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 That air vent was the only way out of the room. The defendant's fingerprints were found in the grill. There was a grill in there? I can't believe it! They could just burn him, they'd have to shoot him. My goodness. Well, Hair Forehead, what fairy tale does this suggest to you? Urgh! Only one could possibly pass through that vent, that doorway to heaven. And that one is our pixie. Dot 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 dot. Why are you looking at me, Apollo? Hey, I was out whooping it up in the audience! So this was his decisive evidence. Hmm. Quite decisive indeed. I believe that's enough of that. That! The prosecution has a rather convincing case. The only way in and out of the crime scene was watched. Making the defendant the only one who could possibly leave the scene. Simple and decisive. Ugh. 
I believe we've heard enough to determine our verdict. Even if I wasn't in a hurry to make a hospital visit. I'm sure the Chief Justice will appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, we have no direct witnesses. Fortunately, the criminal left decisive evidence for us. And that's a load of BS there, Clavier! That will have to be enough. Ah, it can't be over already. Very well. I believe this trial is finished. If the defense has no con contradicting evidence... The prosecution has presented our proof clear and plain. If you have contradicting evidence, it better be clear and plain. Hey, Capolo! They've got us on the ropes already! We better come up with something quick! I know, I know! Think, what can get us out of this? We need evidence, or a witness that can prove Maki is innocent beyond a doubt. And I'm going to present that, that witness on the next exciting episode, because why the heck not, right? You know who our witness is going to be, everyone. It's not like it was totally obvious or anything. I mean, geez. They, they couldn't... They made that completely unobvious. I mean, my goodness. It could be literally anything. It could be the attorney's badge. What if the attorney's badge was the, was the witness? Hmm? Hmm? I mean, honestly, I'm just saying now. That could be the best witness of all time. But we have no proof. So it's unfortunate. Oh, well. Either way, we'll find out if our attorney's badge is a witness on the next exciting episode. So I'll see you later, one. Bye-bye!